Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So I just thought I'd quickly give you an update on my leaf mould. If you remember on the biggest worm bin, bin ever video, you'll see um, how I bagged up all the leaves that I'd spread out on top of the worm bin and I'd packed them up for, for, the, for over winter. I'm covered in spiders, look at that. They're everywhere, crawling all over me. But um, So I thought I'd have a look inside, inside them and see what's going on. And I'll show you what the contents of, they look, of, the, of the bins look, bags look like. So keep watching and I'll show you that. Have a look at inside of this. Look at that. Look how nicely that's breaking down. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, what so look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sifting it off. And I've already started sifting some from the other bag. And I'll show you what it looks like. Sally, can you pass me that bucket? If you look at this, it's absolutely amazing stuff. It's broken down so nicely and it's at such a, a such a fine texture as well. I've never had leaf mould as good as this. I mean normally after a year it's still in its it's still in um, full pieces, so I'm quite. I'm really surprised with this. So normally, after a year, uh, the leaf mold that I make, uh, it's nowhere near as good as this. It's normally still in. You can still make out the leaves. Now, the only thing that I did different this time was um, I lawn mowed the leaves. So um, I went over them with a lawn mower. So I got a little bit of grass in there. But as well as that, I capped them off with a bit of garden soil. So I capped the bags off, each bag off, I capped it off with some garden soil and it's just crawling with worms. But it's it's because I had it in the I had it in the um, laid out on the wor worm bin to start off with. Very wet. And there are some bits of wood in there as well. I'm really amazed because I've never had leaf mould as good as this. What's leaf mould? Leaf mould is um, it's compost made out of just just leaves. So the way you make it is normally the way um, you get leaves and you squish them all up. Yeah, so you get the leaves, you squish squish them all up, and then and that's it. You leave it for a couple of years, and it's a yes. Yeah, and it's and it's a fungal fungal process. You wait for the fung uh, the fungal activity to break it down rather than the uh, bacterial activity, that, like you would in a normal compost pile. So I wasn't. It does normally take me a couple of years to make good quality leaf mold, but I'm, I'm really surprised with this. How much did it take? This has taken. Um, what? This has taken less than less than a year I mean it was autumn when we got all the leaves together and then we laid them out in the worm bin yeah. we spread them out in the worm bin as a top layer and then when we um, harvested the compost the vermicompost in January from the worm bin we put we bagged up all the leaves and then we squished them well we squished them before we put them on the worm bin how did you squish them? I used the lawnmower. Lawnmower. I mean, it is it is quite soggy. It is it is very wet. How about cheese? Does it wait? How much cheese? Do you have to wait until it's ready? Well, looking at this, I don't think you have to wait much longer. Maybe two months. And I wasn't going to do this now, it was just out of curiosity that I, I decided to have a peek inside the leaf bag. This was already 
I don't think this is proper leaf mold. I don't think it is in leaf mold in the way that it's broken down by fungal life. I think this is turned into more vermicompost. Looking at looking at the way this is, I think this is more like worm castings rather than traditional, you know, proper leaf mold. Because, I can't because proper leaf mold, like I keep saying, it has to be. Um, it is broken down by fungal life. Some so, I've seen people say they make leaf mold in less than six months. Oh, sorry, in less than a year, in six months, and period times like that. And in honest, in, in all honesty, I don't think that's leaf mold. And the same with this, I don't, I don't think it's leaf mold. I think it's more um, a vermicompost. But I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to split hairs about it. Can you get? Can, find, can you get a bucket of the worms? What are you going to do with the worms? Uh, hold them down there. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to chuck them on. Two, um, maybe five on that, five on that, five on that. But it's soaking wet though. Because <laughs> I, I didn't tie the bag. Well, uh, no, that bag, I didn't tie it. So... I'm very impressed with this. There we go, we can see a few more leaves there in full pieces. But the, like I say, the only thing that I did different this time was I lawn mowed some of them and the rest of them I spread in the worm bin. So they had lots of worm eggs when I bagged them up. The and then I capped it off with soil. You know the um, what is it called? See, that's that's soil. That's just a that's a sod of a sod of the grass roots. You know um, this is this is really um, wet. It's holding on to a lot of moisture. Are, are worms amphibians? No, worms aren't amphibians. Can you get me? No, they're insects. Insects? Yeah, can you get me uh, another bucket? Bucket. Where are they? Where's them? Go and find one. Do they eat worms? Absolutely massive. There's some baby wood laughs as well. Yeah. Watch out. There's some big ones in here. Are these the uh, um, nematodes? No. They're pot worms. Pot worms? Mm. See, pot, you get pot worms in compost when the conditions aren't fully right for um, no, do you know the red wrigglers, the, the red worms. Move back because I'm going to get you dressed dirty. These ones? Move back because I'm going to get you dressed dirty. Move, move that bucket out. <laughs> These are more sods of grass. How do they get in? Well, that's what I put on top. Watch out. Grass? Yeah. So, yeah, I think this is more worm castings rather than leaf mold, but I'm not going to complain. What worm cast? I don't see if anything. I'm not climbing on my. What do worms eat? They eat everything they find organic matter that's in the soil. Organic matter? Yeah. How do they find So there, there's some more leaves that you can kind of make out. Look, it's a wood that's soggy. <laughs> I use wood chips in everything, even in my leaf mold there's wood chips. <laughs> Chips. This is oh, there's some more leaves there. They're, they're leaves. See, that's what I'd normally expect after a year. I'd expect I'd expect that kind of material after a year, but as you can see, it's just crawling with worms everywhere. But I'm taking 
Now. Show how many work, show me how many words you collected. There's there's lots in here. Yeah, show me. There's. Okay, make sure they go in the worm bin, not don't feed them to the chickens, okay? Why? Do they I know Harry Styles likes worms, but why can't we feed? Why can't we feed them? <coughs> What's this? Ooh. I know worms are Harry Styles' favourite, but they're also my favourite composting friends. After my chickens. So, which one do you like? No, better chickens or composting worms? Which ones do I like better? Yeah. Um, I need to choose one. I think I like my chickens better. Chickens, why? Well, I... Because when we harvest chicken compost next week, do you know those big yellow bags? Yeah. I think very easily we're going to get a full big yellow bag full because we haven't touched the chicken compost for a while, have we? What chicken compost? You know the, the compost that's on the floor of the chicken house? Yeah. Not yeah, we haven't touched that for a while, have we? No. So I think next time we harvest the chicken compost, I think we're going to easily, very easily get. I'm covering up this. Ah. Get half a half a wheelbarrow, um, half a. I think next time we harvest the chicken compost, maybe. Ouch. I think we'll very easily get a full bag. You know, one of those builders' bags. You know, the big yellow bags. Yeah, the big yellow bags. I think we'll get very easily get a full bag full. How? See, look, look at that. That's just packed full of worms. Mm. We'll, we'll just watch out. Look. Let me just show this. Look at that. Take all the worms out and give it to me. It's just amazing. Yeah, you can have, make sure they go in the worm bin. Okay. You take the worm bin out, the mm -hmm. worms... You take... What? <coughs> but, you know the worm bin? You use some of that. I'm going to do so. So that's not bad at all. Um, we've got through two of these black bags. We've got half a barrel of leaf or... Or worm, worm castings from leaves. That's absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm going to put the, the stuff that hasn't broken down back in the bags and I'll leave them to compost down. But I'm well, I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy with this. It, it, it feels so nice. Hey, look, get these gloves off. Yeah, it just feels so nice to touch. It's lovely. Absolutely. Does feel, what does it feel It's like? absolutely lovely, this stuff. I don't even so, know what it feels like. I'm surprised at this. I'm, 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 I really am amazed. Um, what do you think it feels like? I don't know, but it feels nice. <laughs> I know. I don't know um, what it feels like. It does like feel it. really nice. I, I am amazed at this because um, I've never made leaf mould um, in such a short amount of time. Uh, normally it takes me at least two years before I get get a, a decent amount of leaf mould. Um, well, and, if, and normally after two years it's nowhere near as good as this. Um, but I think it's the worms that have done it rather than the fungal life. So I don't know if you can call it leaf mould. If you can't, then okay. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to split hairs. I'll leave it there. <laughs> Look, it's got um, my I'm not going to bore you with me sifting through the other two bags. So I'll leave it there. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.